Shalom Ram Makin. This is another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakakwa Das. I want to give a double honors to my elders and apostles and apostles at Great Millstone who do rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. To you, brothers, I say Shalom. Now I want to start this lesson off uh, by saying it's gonna be a lesson basically on how the name of Yahweh, the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah are very important. In those names, God will be the one that you, Yahweh will be the one that you ignorantly call God in the world. And Jesus Christ will be, will be the one that you ignorantly call Yahweh. I mean, in the, in the, Yahweh Shah will be the one that you ignorantly call Jesus Christ in the world. So, like, I had to catch myself. But, anyway, um, we're going to get back to the scriptures, man. Because a lot of people, especially you people, any of Nate's congregation, you know what I'm saying? You can just go go ahead and lump the whole of them in. Um, y'all go off, man. Y'all leader goes off as well because, you know, I've watched the sit down with the elders and uh, they basically, it was from a while back, had to be. They basically went into how Nate used this scripture right here in Psalms 138 to uh, make an excuse as to why he calls the Lord and his son, whatever. You can call the Lord Yah Yo Play, Yahshua, Yeshua. You just that's bullshit, man. That, and according to the scriptures, we're gonna cut that doctrine the hell up. Using the same uh using the same skills, you know what I'm saying, that I that I basically picked up from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, man. Through watching their videos. Uh you brothers should, should try doing this, man. The family of the words coming. If you got fucking uh bullshit music downloaded in your phone, I can download videos. Download videos. You know what I'm saying? We don't know if Esau could erase them or whatever, but it's whatever, man. Still, man, get this truth while you can, how you can. Because I learned a lot of the stuff I learned, I learned it from having it in my phone and just walking around listening to it all day. You know what I'm saying? Over and over again. So this is uh Psalms 138 and uh, the second verse. And this is what uh, Nathaniel Allah, Nate Satan, uses to uh, use as an excuse, man. Cause me and my me and my uh, me and my uh, my other brother up here in in, uh, in our little camp in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana, you know, we just had cut this guy up using you know the same uh, doctrine that I've got from the, that I picked up from the elders, man. Just putting some skill for adding to it. We use the same doctrine to cut up. A guy, he was speechless. The guy couldn't do nothing but bring out scriptures on how we was black, and we like. He just kept telling us that that that, that it ain't a name that we know, but we know. But he, he like it's Hebrew, but the Lord, when Yahweh Shah come back, he gonna give us his name then. It's not gonna be a name that we gonna be saved by. And we bring out scriptures, and this guy couldn't give us a damn thing. So we gonna, you know, yo and Nate, you misleading your congregation. We not to say that that brother couldn't call us and then humble himself. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, we basically, uh, we told him, you got to repent from that, bro. You going off, and we, we we corrected him. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, this is uh, Psalms 138 and 2. And the scripture says, I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Now, that's true. The Lord did magnify his word above all his name. I give him that. But what does it say in Exodus, the 23rd chapter and the 13th verse, which is a part of this word? <laughs> going to get that right quick, Aki. Cut these niggas, man. Bringing that bullshit out. You know, feeding, feeding Yasha all of that garbage, which we only here to feed the elect because only the elect going to get it any man. Anyway, man, according to Romans 11 and 7. You know what I'm saying? And many other precepts. But uh, we're going to get raw. Right now, we're going to get Exodus 23 and 13. Knocking. And all these things I have said unto you, be circumspect and make no mention of the name of other gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. So don't be mentioning the name of other gods. You got to mention only Yahweh's name. And, you know, and his son's name, Yahweh Shah. And that name, Yahweh Bahashem, those names, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, that's the Hebrew. Not Yahweh and Yeshua, not Jehovah and Jesus Christ. All those, if you go into the Google and look it up, those are other deities, man. Especially, for, uh, specifically, I know for a fact that Yahweh is, we know, 
Jesus Christos goes back to Serapis Christos, Serapis Christ. You know what I'm saying? You always had Israelites going back to Ptolemy the first in Egypt, fucking being Christians and worshiping goddamn Serapis, which was Ptolemy the, the first son. He had an image of his son erected. And the scriptures say in Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 that, uh, let me get that right quick. That, um, this is Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. Basically that, you know, the thing that had been is that which shall be. If we go back in history, I think it was Pope Rodrigo. I'm not, I'm Salaki Akim if I'm going off on the history. You know what I'm saying? But it was the Pope, I think it was Pope Alexander V, who that was Cesare Borgia's father, who kind of got that, that idea to have, I think Leonardo da Vinci paint that picture of uh, Cesare Borgia and, and, and had that image put up as Christ, as Yahweh Shai. Yeah, I think that's I think that's it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I, the idea is that that happened going back to Ptolemy. You know what I'm saying? And I got that from the from Apostle Gabar's lesson. You know, um, yeah, man. There, you know these 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 people. We everybody yet back in the reincarnation and have been coming back in the reincarnation. Man, things repeat themselves, and reincarnation is scriptural. And I'm gonna prove that. Just give me just a second, now. This is Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that has been is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun, man. So I'm not new, you not new, nobody's new. You know what I'm saying? Getting back on how there is a name, Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai has a name, and it's always been declared that he has one name, man. I want to get uh, Proverbs 18 and 10. Salaki Akim. I definitely got two two scriptures in Proverbs that I want to pull. Con, con, this is Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of Yahweh is a Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah is a strong coward. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Meaning to tell you that the righteous know. The righteous is gonna know who Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai's name and what his name is, first and foremost. And then just to hint on that name is important because it is a strong tower, man. So the name is definitely important. You can't just go around here, we ain't got a name. What name are you preaching in? We kept asking that man that he couldn't give us an answer. That's sad, man. You know what I'm saying? That don't make no damn sense. Con, con, um. So lucky, Akim. I'm way. I'm trying to find the other scripture that I was. Well, you know, Akim. I'm gonna just, you know, keep real, man. I, I can't, uh, I can't get the scripture just off off bat, but roughly paraphrasing that scripture through the spat, through the through. The, through the, the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The scripture, rough, roughly paraphrasing, it says, what is the Lord's name and what is his son's name if thou, if thou canst tell? Meaning that the Lord know everybody not going to know his name, man. And that he does have one name. He didn't say his names, their names, with plural. You know what I'm saying? That scripture said, the, that scripture specifically said name. Meaning that they got one name, both of them. Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. This is Second Ezra. Um, this is Second Ezra, the forty-second chapter. I Ezra saw a palm mount. Second Ezra, the Second Ezra. This is Second Ezra, the forty-second verse. Second chapter in the forty-second uh, verse. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them there was a young man of high stature, taller than the rest. And upon every one of their heads he said crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? And he answered and said unto, he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off 
that put that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh now are they crowned and receive palms. And I said unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered me and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, whom they have confessed in the world. So you gotta confess Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, man. How you confess somebody if you don't know their name? You gotta know their names, man, and, that, and it's important to get in this next scripture. Then began I great I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? For the name. He Ezra said he commanded them that stood stiffly for the name. You know what I'm saying? So that name is important, man. When you call on the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, you go through afflictions, man. That's why when these niggas sit up and call on Jesus Christ and all these other damn deities, most high Christ, all this other bullshit, man. Most high Christ blessed. No, they got a name. They got names. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Barakata. That's how you bless a brother correctly, man. And the scriptures tell you, you know, um, basically, man, just hitting up, you know what I can I'm gonna stay on I'm trying to stay on topic. I had something I wanted to bring out. Um, but yeah, Ezra's commended those that stood stepping for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. The name is important. You know what I'm saying? I got one more scripture. And then I want to end it here. I want to get Acts 4 and 12. Con. Uh, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So there's only one name, I can. That name, those names are you want the name of Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? And uh that's it, I can that's all I wanted to bring out. I'm gonna cut this lesson short. And I wanna uh again give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadat. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect for you brothers out there pushing this truth out there on the highways and the byways, risking your lives in sincerity and truth for you, I say, Salawans.